Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a VFX tutorial where I'll be showing you how to make this animation of Pac-Man going down the street. We have made a few live action Pac-Man videos and we've received tons of comments asking us how we made it, what programs we used and so on. So I decided to make a tutorial for it. We'll be using Blender to animate a 3D model of Pac-Man that I'm giving away for you guys to play around with. And once the animation is rendered out, we'll motion track some live action footage and composite the shot in Adobe After Effects. Alright guys, so let's get started. Okay, I'm in Blender version 2.79b. You'll need to download this project file from the link in the description. This is going to be a fairly simple tutorial where I show you a basic lighting and material setup and some very basic animation. We have this simple Pac-Man 3D model that I made, which we can animate very easily. So let's take a look at this model. You can scroll with your middle mouse button and if you hold down shift and your middle mouse button, you can pan around the model. And if you just hold the middle mouse button, you can orbit around the model. So it has a few parts and you can select it by right clicking. And if you hit H, you can hide it. So on the inside, there are just a few teeth. And uh, now let's go ahead and create some materials. So before that, we want to change this to cycles render and add in an HDR environment. So click on the environment tab press this button, environment texture, and open. I have this HDR image which I'll be using for the environment. You can download it from the link in the description. So if you change this to rendered view, so you can see what it looks like. Okay, pretty good. Now let's press Alt H to bring back the full model. Now let's create a material. Select the main body, head over to the material tab, click on new. We'll rename this to be yellow. Okay, now change over to the compositing tab and press this button. Press Shift A and shader and add a mix shader. And drop it in between the two so that it gets connected in this way. Shift A again and add a glossy shader. And connect the glossy shader to the second node. Shift A once more and add in a layer weight. Connect the facing here and okay, let's change this to render view so we can see what it's looking like. Also, we can go into the render tab and under film, check the transparent option so that way you don't see the background all the time. Okay, now let's change this to a yellow color something like what you see in my Pac-Man video and change this to 0 0.02 and this to 0 0.15. Okay, that's it. Uh, that is the material setup for the Pac-Man texture. Now we're gonna apply the same material to the lower jaw as well. So we can hit the material tab and hit this little arrow and select yellow. So it just applies the same material to that as well. Now we want to create a metallic material for this part and all the teeth inside. So first we will hide the main body by selecting it and press H. So that hides it and yeah, select one tooth and you can apply the same material and then press this plus button to make a copy. And then let's rename this as steel okay now select the diffuse node and hit X to delete it select the glossy node press shift D and drag a copy so that basically duplicates it and connect it here and there you go you already have a material which looks very much like metal except we want to change the blend value to about 0.3 Okay, that is looking good. Now we want to apply the same material to all of these parts. So change back. Uh, no, so let's get out of the compositing layout back to default. And we want to select all the parts. Except the jaw. And select the part which already has the steel material and hit control L. So make links and material. 
So now all of these parts get the same material. That's it. Now hit Alt H, bring this back. Now that is looking good. Let's get back into solid view and now let's link the parts so that we can animate it. Select the main body, hit H to hide it. Now you want to select all of these again. Okay, and then select the jaw. Just make sure that you select this in the end and then hit Control P and set parent to object keep transform. So what we basically did was we selected all of these parts and parented that to the jaw. So if you move the jaw, then everything stays with it. Now hit Alt H to bring back the main body. Select the jaw and then select the main body and hit Control P and set parent object keep transform. So now if you move Pac-Man, everything moves with him. Okay, hit one to get into the front view, hit five to change that to an orthographic view and move it, move it along the Z axis until the bottom gets to the floor level. Okay. Right. Now he's on the floor. Let's create a floor plane. Shift A and plane. Let's scale the plane by hitting S. 10 and enter and we want to scale it a little bit more on the y-axis so s y and then just increase a little bit okay the next thing we want to do is animate the jaw so let's go into the side view by hitting 3 on the number pad and before we do that we want to hit n and change this from XYZ Euler to quarter neon. Okay. Right. Hit N to get rid of that panel. Back into side view by pressing 3. And now at frame 0, you want to have a rotation keyframe. So press I and rotation. And then go to frame 30. And then press I, rotation. Now come right in the middle, 15 and then hit R, X, and then move your cursor until about this much, let go of it, press I, rotation, so yeah, there, so you just animated its jaw, but now what you wanna do is loop it so that it keeps on going by itself. So press this button, click on graph editor, here, hit A twice to make sure that everything is selected, and then you want to press shift E and then click make cyclic. So that just copy the same keyframes and loop the whole thing. I'll get back into 3D view and let's see what we have here. Yeah, so it loops perfectly fine. Okay, now let's add in a background. Press N, come down here to background, check that and add image. I'm going to be using this clip of a street where I want Pac-Man to drive across the screen. I got this clip from Storyblocks video who is also the sponsor of this video. I've been using footage from their library for a few years now and it really helps me make my short films look a lot more professional and high quality. For instance, we made this video where I wanted to have an establishing aerial shot of some mountains and at the time I didn't have access to a drone so it seemed like I had no choice but to leave it out. But I found this perfect clip on video blocks which looked very similar to the location we were shooting at. So it worked out really well. I've used their footage in a lot of other videos like this scene in our Pac-Man Origins video has so many cool close-up shots of some awesome machines and it would have been really expensive to film all of that by myself. So if you're a filmmaker or a YouTuber with a tiny budget but you want to push your work to the next level, using high quality stock footage can really give it that professional touch. You could download all the clips you want from their member library including HD and 4K footage and also After Effects templates which you could readily use for creating some cool title animations and text graphics. 
They have additional marketplace clips on which you can get exclusive discounts where you can save 40% on every purchase. All content is royalty free so you can use it for commercial use and the library is always growing so there's always something fresh to download. So use this link in the description storyblocks.com slash shutter authority to learn more about Storyblocks video. Go ahead and get some footage from their library and make your films better. Okay now let's get back to the tutorial. Select the clip, press open image and increase the opacity to 1, press enter. One more thing you want to do is get back into the, the view, press 0 to get into camera view and scroll until it fits your screen and check lock camera to view. Press N again to get rid of that. Now you can orient your scene to match your footage. One more thing I want to do is prepare the floor to receive shadows. So select your floor and go into the object tab. Come down here, enable shadow catcher and disable the diffuse and glossy settings. Now you can change that to render view and see what it looks like. I think this is looking pretty good. Okay, now let's go back to solid view and animate the movement of Pac-Man. Okay, so we want him to go this way. So I'll have him stay there. And at frame 0, I am going to press I and create a location keyframe. Okay, now let's get into the top view by pressing 7. And let's go to about 130. And press I and create one more location keyframe. Now let's get back into the camera view and play it. He starts and then... Okay, that is looking pretty good. Now let's just move it until it looks like he's driving past the screen. Okay, that is looking pretty good. So let us go ahead and render this out. You can change that to 100%. And I would start the animation at about yeah, maybe the fifth frame and stop it at 87. So from 5 to 87. Okay. Choose the location. Give it a name. Pac-Man 02. Accept. And... You can increase the samples if you want to render at a higher quality. If you have a GPU, you can change this to GPU composite. What else do we have here? That's it. PNG, RGBA, everything looks good. Now press, ah, make sure to save it before you render, just in case something goes wrong during the render process. Now we're good to go. Press the animation button and it should start rendering. Okay guys, now the render is done and we'll start compositing. I've brought in the footage into After Effects. I'll drag it into this little box and that'll make a new composition. I'll go ahead, import, file, go to the folder where you rendered your frames and select one of the frames. Make sure this is checked, import. Okay, now drag that above this layer and Okay, this is looking good. Now let's go ahead and motion track the shot. Layer, we'll create a new null object. We can also reduce the length of this comp to about, let's say this much, hit N, and then right click here and trim comp to work area. Now press track motion, and let us go in here and find something that we can track. I think we can track this we'll also turn on rotation and we could probably track this increase the search area and don't make it too big just just the right size Okay, start tracking backwards because we're in the last frame. Okay, I 
think the tracking is pretty good. Apply. Okay, got it. Now, yeah, that is looking pretty solid. Right now, all we have to do is select your Pac-Man layer and parent it to the null object. So that is it. Now, we would have to increase the scale a little bit just so that it doesn't get cut off. But other than that, that is looking pretty neat. Let's add a curves to the background layer. Maybe add in some contrast. And add a curves to your Pac-Man layer as well. And give it a little bit of contrast. This is looking pretty good. The next thing we want to do is add some force motion blur. So I'm going to use pixel motion blur. That's the one. And it automatically calculates based on the footage. So that is pretty useful. Now the effect is done. We can go ahead and render it out. Add to render queue. And for uh, the render settings, click on the format here and I like QuickTime and DNX HR HD. You can download it and install this codec and I think it's uh, pretty good and have this setting here. Okay, okay. And let's go ahead and render this out. Okay, there you go. Looking pretty neat. I hope this tutorial was useful. Go ahead and make something with what you've learned and be sure to share it with me. Alright guys, thanks for watching. My name is Raghav and I'll see you in the next video.